All right, what's up everyone, Duquesne23 here, and today we're gonna be talking about rec packs and how actually they're good. Um, but they do need a few changes. So everyone who just probably disliked the video and is leaving, please watch the video until the end. You will most likely agree with what I have to say because, you know, th with these changes and stuff to rec packs, I think it will be a lot better and it'll be improved and people would actually really enjoy them and, you know, not complain so much about them. So basically the main thing of what people complain about with rec packs are the fact that armors and things like that are randomized within these rec packs and people do not like that. People want to be able to go and use whatever armor they want to use and have that armor, you know, instead of randomly unlocking it in within a rec pack. So pretty much, you know, I'm thinking of the reach style armor purchasing with their credits, but of course in here it would be rec points. And so I think that if they go to the restyle for armor, like take armor out of the rec packs and even take emblems out of the rec packs, like two main things that people want to have, you know, as soon as possible. And they want to be able to choose their own instead of getting it randomly. So take those two things out of the rec packs and have those for, you know, purchasing with rec points, just like kind of how it was in Reach. Um, I think that would really be a great advantage for the next Halo game if they did something like that. Of course, Halo 5 is not able to do something like this because it's already out and they're not going to change all this. Um, so Halo 6, I hope they do something like this because I think it would be great to be able to actually purchase whatever armor you want once you acquire enough rec points. And then, you know, you can uh, wear that armor or wear that emblem right off the bat once, of course, you get enough rec points and then you're able to purchase whichever armor or emblem you have. Now, I think with those two things taken out of there, I think people will really enjoy rec packs a lot more. They would make it to where, you know, people aren't complaining about the randomization of it uh, because rec packs are technically needed. They're 100% needed for Warzone because there's no way you can have, you need something randomized off of getting a pack or something like that in order to get vehicles, weapons, or something like that for Warzone. You need that randomization uh, for that. So whenever you use whatever card or something or vehicle, um, um, you're not necessarily going to get that vehicle back whenever you open up a pack So you got to really think about what vehicles you want to use within Warzone I personally do think Warzone is a great addition into Halo 5 and I think it's a great addition total in the Halo And I hope they continue with it. And I'm pretty sure that they will so You know, hopefully with this changes to these rec packs adding the armors and the emblems you know to their own separate thing that you use your rec points to purchase and you know having rec packs for things like your weapon skins you know your randomized weapon skins um, your rec vehicles rec weapons even I'm okay with having a rec packs like assassination and stances I'm cool with that um, but then also not only do I think that they need to change now this doesn't involve rec packs but I do think that they need to also have armor that unlocks with doing something special. Um, I one thing like doing lasso legendary camp, you know, like lasso campaign would be a great like having some special armor unlock with that, or also doing some crazy accomplishment within you know multiplayer or something, you know, like. Uh, like there was that Halo 3 achievement where you got to get a double kill with a laser in, um, in Lone Wolf. Like having something crazy like that that doesn't normally ever happen. It's actually somewhat difficult to happen. Um, I think that would be really cool to lock armor behind, you know, something like that. Um, like maybe with this Warzone firefight that came out, they could have done like a special armor if you beat, you know, Warzone firefight within a certain amount of time. Uh, you know, with like a ridiculous amount of time or um, how Unishek's team Team actually did like a Unishex challenge or whatever they want to call it to where you didn't spawn any wreck things at all within the game you know of Warzone firefight but yet you still beat all five rounds and then if you did that if you didn't spawn any wreck stuff um, throughout the entire five rounds and you still beat it then you would unlock a special armor. I think that would be really cool. It makes it an incentive for people to keep playing and keep trying towards things. Um, so this is kind of my thoughts about this whole thing, guys. I think this is what they need to do with Halo 6. I personally think rec packs are perfectly fine as long as they make these changes to them. Uh, like currently in Halo 5, 
there's issues with it and so if they make these changes i think rec packs will be really great to be able to have and microtransactions is a totally separate type of conversation um, a lot of people don't like micro microtransactions personally to me i don't necessarily mind them um, just because they aren't affecting the actual multiplayer they do affect warzone um, but they you know if people want to spend real money on stuff then let people spend real money on stuff that's to me that's perfectly fine it's just like in other games like csgo and everything where you can purchase skins and all that junk on there um but you know like i think it's perfectly fine as long as it doesn't affect the core multiplayer so this is kind of guys my thoughts about this whole thing go ahead and leave a comment on what you think about my ideas um would you actually be more okay with rec packs now that i've changed you know like my ideas of changing some of these things um you know personally i would love these changes and for halo 6 i really hope they make them and of course guys we need more customization with armor but that again is a no <laughs> like, that's another video to be able to talk about right now this this is just for a rec pack video. I will be doing more of these videos where I talk about uh, the things that they need to improve on with Halo. Um, and then also I will make videos on things that they I think they've done right with Halo. Um, so we're going to be, you'll be seeing some videos uh, involving all that type of stuff. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed this. Please give this a like and also subscribe if you haven't already for more Halo discussions and news and custom maps and all that other junk and everything. But guys, I hope you all enjoyed this again. And remember... Let's forge a new halo.